Hey everyone, today's video is about another flat hat troll, a really really dumb flat hat troll. Some of you may have read his comments under different videos. I'm talking about Funk Obama. I have here a recent picture of him. He came to my channel because he was severely triggered by my videos. The comments he left were outstanding stupid. Let's get right into this. First we have this comment here, where he is clearly not able to tell genders apart. He said I'm a dude with horns. Yeah, that was a great start. But it didn't stop there. We come to the next comment, which I would say is category 2 of the dumb fuckery scale. He was again one of these idiots who tried to tell me that the sun would look smaller throughout the day. And that proves the flat earth. I had this shit in my last video. This guy simply don't want it to understand why he need a solar filter to properly show the real size of the sun. The sun is that bright when it's overhead that we can see the outlines of it. Only at sunset and sunrise you are able to see it better, because the sun rays have to go through more atmosphere when the sun is at the horizon. Since our atmosphere is more dense on the ground than high up, the sun looks not as bright as high up in the sky. But less shine does not mean that the sun is smaller. Same counts for the moon. I have filmed the moon for about two hours in the sky. When I pointed out that the moon doesn't look smaller, he gave me the following really stupid answer. Of course you're not going to see the moon change in size. It supposedly takes almost a month to go around, even in the globe fairy tale model. I almost peed myself for laughing. Seriously, this comment made him subject of today's video. Funky boy, it's true that the moon only orbits the earth every 28 days, but we still see it set and rise, because the earth is spinning, you idiot. If the earth would be motionless and the moon would take 28 days to cycle the earth, it would be very very slow in the sky. Seriously, Funky boy has to be drunk or something. Let's take a short look at one of the videos he presented as evidence that the sun is close and looking smaller when it sets or rises. One thing I frequently hear from flat earth skeptics is Oh fuck, it's death to the globe again. They fail to comprehend, however, is the fact that we can see the sun change size. Of course, not with human eyes. First, we need to take a look at some of the proofs that globalists use to back up their false claim. This time lapse of a sunset shown here is from a video called Sunset Time Lapse HD. Many skeptics often think to themselves that by zooming in on a sunset, just like this video does, that this proves the sun doesn't change size. However, what we don't see in this video is this. The sun's entire path and size before it got to that setting point. When has anyone observed something like that using a solar filter? Are you kidding me? To actually watch the sun change size, you will need to be in a place with a good view of the sunset and sunrise. As you can see in this drawing, I made an example of what we observe. The only times of the day you are going to see the sun change size is during the rising and setting motions of the sun's path. This picture alone debunks what you said just a moment ago. As we see here in this picture, it would look smaller the more it's going down, especially the closer it is to the horizon, but that's not happening here. Damn, that's fucking retarded. Although the sun is smaller than what mainstream science tells us, the sun is still huge. It's not like you're going to watch it shrink until it's super small and vanish from your view from ground level, no. The only way you'll experience that is above Earth's atmosphere in space. Why? Why would a sun on Earth not become a tiny dot when viewed from the ground? That doesn't even make sense. Problem with that, we don't see it like that in reality. Flat Earth Sun is real video with a flashlight experiment. You can see that in this video the glare shrinks until it's gone. Are we going to sit there and say that the glare is only shrinking in the video, but the flashlight itself isn't? He has to be kidding. He shows a variety of time lapses of sun and moon without any filters that fail for the already mentioned problems. That goes on, but then... Another proof of the small flat earth sun is the sunlight during sunsets. In this photo, this is a sunset from the ISS. You can see the sunlight fades evenly over the whole side of the earth shown. However, as you can see in this time lapse from the Las Vegas Strip, the sunlight during the sunset fades panning toward the left, leaving the right side dark first. This does not coincide with their fake ISS sunset, which fades evenly everywhere. You seriously use a picture taken from the ISS? 
what the actual fuck? Do you realize that this is exactly what we would expect on a globe with a sun far away? Let's not just look at a picture of a sunset or sunrise from the ISS, let's watch a video. You see how the sunlight fades in this area and then goes dark. That's what we have seen in your time lapse. Another silly globe birther comment I frequently get is this that if you watch the sunset at the beach, for example sitting on the ground, then go somewhere higher, the sun comes back into view, proving the globe. This is completely ridiculous, however, and it's just merely perspective, something a lot of people are having a hard time comprehending. Bullshit, the sun would have to look big overhead and tiny when it vanishes. That is what perspective would do on a flat earth. As you can see in this example, I point the camera at the golf ball on the ground. And when I go higher, you get a better view of it. Does that mean there was a curve on the ground? Of course not. Come on, there's grass in the way. Something that usually isn't in our way over a fucking ocean. What blocks the sun there? Guess what? It's the Earth. Sometimes down in our view from Earth, we see the sun and moon in the exact same height. This can only happen on a flat Earth. How do you know it's exact the same height? Can you please enlighten me how you measured this? With that, I'm going to share one last thing which someone brought to my attention with it, which I thought was particularly strange. The end. We finally reached the end. Well, that much to funky boys proves. Who the fuck are you kidding with this bullshit, Funk Obama? Seriously, are you that stupid to watch that and think, yeah, great, looks fine, totally convincing? This is garbage. Here's another video he has posted as a proof. A sun through a solar filter. The sun has still too much glare around it. It gets dimmer while it sets, but it didn't shrink. Which the owner of this video admitted in the comments. By the way, he doesn't even know what the sun actually is. He knows it's a great light and that's it. Funky Boy posted a bunch of other videos too. They were as worthless as this one. I will maybe come back to them in another video. The sun doesn't change size if you look at it through a solar filter, as it was clearly seen. This chapter is closed. I already said to you, take a camera and a solar filter and prove everyone wrong. Why have you not done that instead of trolling? I know the answer. You don't believe that the earth is flat. You just have a sad and boring life and you think you can over this way talk to a hot chick. Which, let's face it, would never even look at you in real life. He wants to keep shitting all over my channel. Seems I got really deep under his skin. And with that, I'll end today's video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye and stay tuned.